been a disaster. Driven off the road. <laughs> Folks, I've come up to the Highlands today to look for red deer stags because they're in the middle of their rut right now. It's sort of a week or so into October and uh, yeah, they're truly magnificent at this time of year. They've got uh, big antlers that they've been growing over the summer and uh, their coats are beautiful, deep red and uh, generally they're a real spectacle. So uh, I'm in a location where quite well known for red deer and what I've been doing so far this morning is just driving along slowly and listening to see if I can hear them roaring anywhere around here and uh, I have located a few groups and uh, I'm pretty hopeful that a little bit later on I'll be able to catch up with some and uh, get some photos. It's been a lovely drive up today it's been raining a little bit but uh, as beautiful autumn colours and uh, the hills have been looking majestic with the sort of wreaths of cloud over them and uh, sort of occasional patches of rain. It's been really, really nice. So I'm actually going to be meeting uh, another photographer today, um, a guy called John Barras, I hope I pronounced his name correctly, who uh, got in touch through YouTube and Instagram and uh, was also interested in coming and looking for some deer today. So he's driven up and uh, I'm going to go and meet him now and then we're going to go and decide uh, where we should go first to find some deer. Yeah I really hope we catch up with some. Um, obviously as I said I've seen some but uh, that doesn't mean that we can actually get anywhere near them to take any pictures. But it's so nice here that I suspect we'll have an absolutely cracking day whether we see any deer or not. was a really nice moment. So it wasn't the stags but rather the ladies, the hinds and uh, I came across my first experience of a deer jam which I assume is a bit like a bear jam in the national parks of the United States because there were several vehicles and photographers pretty much blocking the road at uh, this point where these four hinds, well three hinds and one youngster were uh, grazing. But yeah, they didn't seem to mind us being there at all. I think uh, they're probably pretty used to people coming and photographing them just here. In fact, there are signs everywhere that say don't feed the deer. So uh, yeah, they, they, they know about people. They're, they're all right with us here. Um, but anyway, yeah, I got uh, a few pictures, I hope, and uh, yeah, really, really nice to see them. But while we're watching them, and I hope getting some nice pictures, could hear an absolute monster bellowing in the glen. Must be a really big stag down there somewhere. So we're gonna go and see if we can find him. After we found John. John first, stag second. That's quite exciting. <laughs> Thank you. 
So while I'm waiting for John, I thought I could record a shameless little bit of self-promotion, which is that uh, I have produced a calendar this year. Here it is. I actually produce a calendar every year for the last, I think, maybe 14 or 15 years. But um, this is the first time that I've even considered promoting it to a wider audience than uh, friends and family. Anyway, the calendar contains um, some of my favourite uh, wildlife images and a couple of landscapes from the last year. And, uh, you know, a few of these you might well have seen in uh, some of the videos. So the calendar is A4 size and it's got a hole drilled in so you sort of have it open hanging sort of as a double spread like that. And uh, yeah, these are available for pre-order um, on my website and there will be a link in the description of this video and they cost £10 and uh, plus £3 uh, delivery anywhere in the UK and if you want one delivered outside of the UK just let me know and uh, I'll find out how much it costs. So yeah, if you fancy getting yourself one of these, um, pre-order before the end of November. And uh, want any more details? Just give me a shout. Cheers. Other thing I wanted to kind of quickly mention in this video is a kind of shout out to Rode Microphones um, customer services. I am not in any way sponsored or affiliated to Rode Microphones, although I seem to own a lot of their kits. So if somebody from Rode is listening and, you know, give me a shout, I do rather like your products. Um, anyway, this guy, the uh, Rode VideoMic Pro that I've been using, developed a fault and it stopped recording any sound at all. So I uh, went online and I discovered that it has in fact got a five year warranty. And even though I hadn't registered the microphone when I bought it, that warranty was still usable as long as I went in sort of retroactively got my receipt off of Amazon and uh, sent it into them. And they just fixed it, no questions asked within I think it was three days. They sent me an email to say that the fault was with this bit of little wire that goes into the microphone here and that they would send me the repaired unit the next day, which they did. Absolutely fantastic. I was really, really impressed. And uh, yeah, to prevent damaging that bit of wire in the future, I've now zip tied the wire to this bit of the uh, the support mechanism so that even if that gets a tug for whatever reason that's not actually pulling on the uh, the wire in the body of the mic which i think is probably what uh, damaged it in the first place but yeah road microphones double thumbs up really really awesome customer services thank you very much John and I've fallen in the ditch. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, let's take two happens a bit. Right, so I've caught up with John. It turns out he was parked in the next lay-by a hundred meters away, so all's well. And uh, we've sorted our kit out and uh, we're just gonna walk down down to the river and along the glen and see if we can catch up with those deer I could hear roaring earlier. Hopefully we'll uh, find them and uh, get some nice pictures.
walking along for a little bit and uh, we have seen a few stags um, with their hinds but they're far up on the hillside um, on the other side of the river so uh, a long way away and well, far too far to really take any pictures but uh, we're going to keep walking along here and uh, did see some more deer in this direction uh, this morning so uh, maybe we'll catch up with those in a bit. Oh, it's wet. Oh. Well, we got thoroughly soaked and walked back along the river and we nearly got back to the cars without seeing anything. But just at the last moment, there was one stag and uh, a few hinds. And I managed to catch a tiny bit of video, mostly, mostly because I wasted a load of time trying to get the water off the front of my lens before actually using the camera. So there were just a few seconds of that. But uh, yeah, back at the cars now, dried out uh, some of the kit and uh, rather than walk about in this and get even more soaked, what we're going to do next is just drive along the glen and uh, see if we can see anything from the car. And if we do see deer relatively close to the car, we can get out and sort of go and look at them. Or we could even try and take pictures out the car because uh, that'll be a lot drier, which I think would be quite good. a disaster driven off the road <laughs> oh, and to cap it all it is raining you couldn't have uh, couldn't have scripted this so uh, we saw some deer absolutely fantastic group with a couple of stags and uh, some hinds in a field but uh, the, the fences in this field wouldn't contain them they'd jump over that in without thinking about it but uh, yeah, just as we drove away from there, um, 
we had to get off the road because there's a car coming the other way that didn't seem to understand the concept of waiting for uh, us to get to a passing place. And uh, the car ended up in the ditch. Whew. So that's sorted now, luckily. There's a guy came with a tow rope, able to pull us out. Didn't take very long. But add a second disaster to the mix. Just while we were trying to work out how to get that out, I thought I'd film what was going on. And uh, you may have noticed some of the footage up till now in this video has been a little bit uh, wider than usual. And that's because I was using a wide angle adapter on the Osmo Pocket. Well, that also went in the ditch and the guy with the tow rope didn't pull that out because we can't find the bloody thing. So I'm going to go and have another little look for it now. Nope, that's not for being found. So uh, in uh, one day review of the Freewell um, wide angle adapter for the Osmo Pocket, it does indeed adapt the Osmo Pocket to give a wider field of view, which I thought was pretty good and I quite liked, but it falls off really rather too easily. And now it's gone. It happens. day. Well, come back to the cars now and uh, yeah after our little adventure with the ditch we uh, went sort of right down to the end of uh, the glen here and uh, there was a stag there bellowing and uh, he was really cool to watch. Um, it was starting to get a little bit too dark to get any photos uh, or video but he was a bit too he was a bit too far away as well to be fair and um, the wind was unfortunately taking away the the roaring sound so one of the things I'd kind of wanted for this video was to actually record audio of the stags roaring and uh, not really managed to do that anyway we're back at the uh, back at the cars now and we're kind of setting up our camp for the night I'm just gonna sleep in the cars because it's uh, everything's really wet so probably easier just to do that and uh, the plan tomorrow is to get out again and uh, see if we can find the deer um, that'll probably be a separate video and uh, for now I'm gonna just finish and uh, say that uh, it's been a great day out it started off as a day looking for roaring red deer stags but really as has happened in the past, the stars of the show, in terms of the photos I've got, are much more likely to be the hinds. I haven't really looked at the photos yet, but uh, I think I've probably got some quite nice pictures of them. It's um, been great fun um, photographing with John and meeting him. That was really, really cool that he's come to visit and uh, have a look up here. And um, he'll probably put some of his pictures on uh, Instagram and he's got a really cool Instagram account and I will put the link uh, for that in the video description so definitely check that out so yeah if you've enjoyed the video please uh, like and share and uh, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already and uh, yeah thank you very very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one bye bye <laughs>